welcome back to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to try my hand at a little bit of painting. The Steel Weasel Way. Watch and enjoy. Okay, uh, what I've got here is a Castle Ambretta rim that I had from Casa when I bought one of their Octagon multi-spline kits from them, which has been pretty good, but the finish on the wheels, they came silver powder coated, was pretty dreadful. And within two or three months, it just started lifting. So I was really disappointed in that. And they just went worse and worse and worse and worse. And now I've had to spend about two hours uh, cleaning this off with a wire brush and a flap wheel and uh, various other implements. So. Uh, Preparation took quite a while. So we've got all the paint off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna give it a clean off with some acetone and a little clean rag. Wipe everything down. We're gonna remove the valve from here. And to protect the thread, it's an eight mil thread. We're gonna get an eight mil bolt Simply screw it in the hole, that stops us getting any paint down the thread and it makes it handy to pick it up as well. So, let's start doing some cleaning shall we? Okay, first things first, PPE. We've heard a lot of that recently. Thank you the National Health for donating me this PPE. Uh, we'll put it to good use. <laughs> right, so we've got our rubber gloves on, so we've got a bit of acetone here and put it on a lint free clean rag, give it a little coat and wipe everything down. That gets rid of our fingerprints and any oil to stop reactions. So we get rid of all of that, make sure we get everywhere and on the outside. Well the PPE is not for me, the PPE is for the, wheel, for the wheel rim so I don't get my greasy fingers on it. What, you think it was to protect my hands? <laughs> no, 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 no! It does stink this stuff. So there you go, as you can see, mainly aluminium has come off there, but we've got a lot of crap off that we thought wasn't there, but it was. Mm, how about that then? Okay, that's pretty well cleaned up and ready to put some etching primer on. And this is what we've got for our first coat of paint. It's made by Bessa. Uh, it's a uh, 1K etch primer, universal. This uh, Besser paint is really quite good. Uh, it, it does give you really good finish. Um, so, this is, you do need to use this on aluminium, otherwise the slightest chip and your paint lifts off. So you've got to have this, this uh, etching primer to bond your paint to. So, that's going on first. Okay, we'll let that first coat dry off a bit 
and then we'll put some more on. Huh. Okay, well we're waiting for that to dry. We can have maybe a little update on what I've been up to and what I'm going to be up to in the near future. We've got some racing coming up. We could be back on the circuit again after a two years off the track. We are going to get our race bike back out, give it a little clean up and a polish and she's going back on the track on the 24th and 25th of September. So there'll be some video footage of that coming up. Also, before that probably, hopefully, I've got Sticky's latest book coming. Sticky's masterpiece of tuning and kits. I know he's put a real lot of effort into this. He's been calling everybody. He's been in so much research to get this book right. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be well worth waiting for. So I'm going to do a full review on Sticky's latest book. Uh, that's going to be coming up pretty shortly. Uh, what else have we got? Mm, possibly a little bit back on the Challenger barrel. I haven't done any work on that for a while, so I think I'll be pulling the Challenger back out and we're going to be doing a jacking plate for it, which is like, I think it's about 8mm thick and there's a few little tricks involved with that as well, so that could be very interesting for people looking at my race Challenger barrel that's going to be going to UK one day and doing some quarter miles. Let's see. Okay, back to painting. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Big thumbs up to Todd Rogers in California on his 106 miles an hour. Brilliant, mate. Better get my mask on. So what we've got now, we've got our silver, which is a base coat silver, so that has to have lacquer on top. And we're going to use two component lacquer that has a pull ring in the bottom. Pull the pull ring, it releases the activator, shake it up and we've got nice shiny lacquer. to dry out. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah. leave you there because I've got a whole load of stuff to uh, clean up and sand down hubs and forks and links and all the running gear wheels hubs oh, this is the bit everybody hates in it uh, really time-consuming so I'm gonna go to do that you can go off drink a beer see you later bye <laughs>